Well, here's a short bit of hay baling video recorded on the 1st of August. But first, I'm going to show you a little bit of the crop conditions here. It's been continuing dry and hot for, I don't know, a couple of weeks now anyway. So, a little bit of shaky drone video for you. Yeah, the wind was a bit strong and the the gimbal or whatever you call it that steadies the camera on the drone is still not working the way it should so it gets a little shaky at times but anyway i'm seeing a fair bit of white patches showing in the cereal grain crops that's a sign that they're running out of moisture on the hilltops but i guess uh, there's going to be something there to harvest anyway so hopefully the temperature is going to cool down and we'll see a little bit of rain but from this point on we're going to show you a little bit of haying video, so stay tuned. My Uncle Donald, with his 970 case, taken in the spring of 1985. Um, and here it is again on August 1st, 2024. Uh, it's Uncle Donald's great-nephew driving the tractor this time, though. He's bailing the hay on the old homestead. With the New Holland 660 baler, doing a pretty decent job, too. So, uh, just uh, stay tuned for the rest of the show here. We're gonna... We didn't have any drone video to go today, but... I was on top of the bin doing some grain samples and uh, shot a little bit of video from up there, so hope you find that interesting. temperature reading out of the bin here. I'll just do a little brief crop, crop report for the 1st of August. This is uh, spring wheat here. My earliest planted, I believe. Those very white patches you're seeing over there gravel patches in the soil that have very little reserve moisture and the crop has really started to suffer. We haven't had any significant rain here in I don't know how many weeks and we've had 80 plus sometimes 90 degree temperatures so it's starting to show it. Some more over there turning white might not be too much in the heads on that, but whatever is there, that's what we get. 